So in this video, we're going to use the ideal gas law to find the mass of a gas sample. Basically what we're going to do, what that means is, let's just make a balloon here. Um, here, let's just draw in some parts of our balloon. You know, it's on a streamer, something like that. Uh, so what we have in our balloon is, let's say we're going to have CO2. All right, we just filled this from a CO2 canister. Um, let's give some information here. Let's say we have three liters. So it's three liters big. Um, let's say the pressure inside is just one atmosphere. One atmosphere. And let's say the temperature inside the balloon is about 20 degrees Celsius. Um, 20 degrees Celsius. And we're just going to round that. That's um, 293 uh, Kelvin. We're just going to ignore the 0.15 just you know, to keep the, the multiplication a little bit simpler. So anyways, what we want to do here is we have this balloon we know you know we know what the pressure is inside we know the temperature we know the volume um, now what we want to do is we want to find out what the mass of the co2 uh, in the balloon is so you know we'll just write it here just so we don't forget there you go mass uh, doesn't really look like mass okay anyways um right so we want to know the mass of the co2 gas that's inside the balloon so, like all ideal gas problems, we're going to start with the ideal gas law, which is P oops, V equals N R T. Perfect. And now what we want is, first of all, we can't get mass yet because we need the number of moles. So we're going to rearrange to solve for N, which is our number of moles. So put N on one side, and then we'll get PV divided by R T. Okay, so that's good. Now what we want to do is, um, well, we just want to fill in all these variables because we have them all. So let's start with, here we can write it here, we'll say, let's say N is equal to, our pressure is one atmosphere. Make sure we write all the units in here. This is one atmosphere times three liters. Okay, and this is divided by R, um, the universal gas constant, and because we're dealing with atmospheres, we're going to use this version. This is 0 0.08 oops, 8206. That doesn't want to work very well. Okay, so anyways, and the units for this version of the ideal um, the ideal gas constant, sorry, is, uh, is atmospheres. Wow, it's going really slow. Atmospheres uh, per mole per Kelvin. Okay, so we're going to have to extend this. We were kind of running out of space here. And then we multiply this by the temperature, which is in Kelvin, and it's 293 Kelvins. 293 Kelvins. Okay, perfect. So what we can do here is we can, um, well, all we want to do here is multiply 1 times 3, and then 0 0.08206 by 293, and then solve all of this. So anyways, if you just punch this in your calculator, we get, well, this is equal to, this will become, uh, this will be 3 over, this is about 24.04, <laughs> uh, something like that. And then when we work this out, uh, if you just continue with this, we'll end up getting a number of, 0 0.125 moles. Perfect, and this is of carbon dioxide. Remember, this is what we're working with. So anyways, this is good. Um, now we have the moles of CO2, and we just need to convert it uh, to grams using its molar mass. So we can switch back to black again, I guess, and we'll have, well, we know we have 0 0.125 um, moles of CO2, CO2, and we're gonna multiply this by its molar mass which is 44 grams per mole for one mole. Okay, perfect. And so we can cancel out moles, moles, and we get 100, uh, sorry, 0 0.125 times 44. Punch that in your calculator and you get 5.5. .5. And the units is grams of CO2. So this is perfect. Now if you think about this, um, this does seem reasonable because if you have a balloon, it's about you know as big as a milk jug or so, a little bit smaller, um, that weighs 5.5 grams. Uh, well, I guess excluding the weight of the balloon itself, but a balloon that size is pretty light, so this um, this answer does seem reasonable.